Shri Kumar Vikram Singh Ji in absence, Shri Atal Patnagar Ji, Shri K.K. Katti, Shri V.M. Pandit, Shri Ramesh Ayar, General Jambal, Shri Mahesh Sharma, Shri Kalyan Bhaut, and ladies and gentlemen. My presence amongst you have always been a homecoming to me and I do not hesitate to mention that each year I look forward to prestigious to this prestigious event, content in the knowledge and your and your leaders and volunteers will make the passes, the past events. As always, I al always I will also be wiser having absorbed the gems of wisdomal wealth that your peers and men mentors so willingly distribute on this August platform. Each year the industry leaders study, research, analyze and conduct good practices and promote guiding principles on the changing roles, competitions and professional development of promoters and service providers which are presented, debated and adopted for competitive advantages. There is a new government and the lawmakers enjoy a strong mandate from the populace for effecting media governance and a proactive business environment. For good governance, the state will have to review, <coughs> analyze, reject absolutely obsolete and time delaying mechanisms and adopt reforms that are supportive that are supportive to create an industry which are the bulwarks of the nation's economy. CAFC, FD and SSDC are the private security sectors, teen murtis whose energetic powers are godlike. Each of these has to get its act moving and the moves have to be made now. The times are conducive to the winds of change. While each of the three has to engineer its own success group, they have to synergize their energy for the sector's gains. It is indeed a boom that these synergies and activities are under a unified command and operating as a cohesive force. I am positive that the private security sector recognizes the opportunity and will go all out to support the Teen Murti and abundant faith and resources at its command. The Private Security Agency Regulation Act 2005 and its progression, progression across the various states throw up a gamut of challenges both for the regulators and the regulated. The transformation of the unorganized sector into an organized brings us to the tra Trapeze Act. Each move has to be coordinated, balanced and fine-tuned for meeting the objective of the Act and the business indulging in adventurism by an over-enthusiastic and misguided controlling authority can cause huge losses in business uh, continuity and reputation to years of effort and toil. I informed my I, I am informed by Kumar Sahib that the Ministry of Home and had recently convened an all India meet of the controlling authority for assimilation of feedback and data. The MOH would deliberate on constituting a joint consultative platform and CAFSI, with CAFSI, where from the sector's progress could be tracked and regulatory 
checks and balances formulated. I am reminded of my address at the last conference and my motion mentioned in the closing lines of knowledge and technology. While summing up, here I again draw attention to man, machine, knowledge, technology. And closing on the ominous notes, I speak of the Uber cab incident where the system failed and the knee-jerk reactions are in progress. The cab company appears to have failed its system to implement technology and adhere to compliance with apparent state failure to provide reliable character verifications mechanism and easy access to criminal records. In the coming days more would come to light from which our sector would do well to learn and apply. Collective justice meted out through a hasty ban is not the answer that the citizens expect in justice. Thank you very much.